we're going to go ahead and upgrade our Plum Creek computer and the Plum Creek computer basically used a NVIDIA GTX 580 graphics card and I'm going to go ahead and install a second graphics card and I'm going to go ahead and run this in SLI configuration and so I'm going to move the original card to the second port and the reason being is that I purchased the the new card off of eBay and I just want to make sure that everything is working and so generally what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just pop out the old card and make sure that the uh, new card fits in and everything is going to be the same and essentially okay let's go ahead and pull this out here and essentially SLI stands for scalable link interface and you would use this over two of the same cards and as you can see the two cards look physically different and just so you know it's okay as long as the two cards have the same specs or the same clock rates so same specs meaning like I have the same amount of memory uh, the clock speeds are the same and in this case it also helps that they are the same manufacturer so the differences are the two cards just differ by heat sink and fan so this is the uh, Call of Duty Black Ops version of the GTX 580 card and because I bought this card on eBay I just wanna go ahead and just plug this card in first just to make sure that this card is working and also just wanna note that um, it, it's also nice to to save some money too. So had I purchased both these cards brand new, um, I would have easily spent over a thousand dollars on these two cards. But because I purchased the the Call of Duty card on eBay, uh, I only paid about two hundred dollars for the uh, second card. And you know it's just a uh, nice upgrade to have over the years. Uh, some video games would use the SLI profile so you could actually one benefit to using SLI is that um, you could either have uh, the graphics apply more or you could actually run one card in a physics configuration and run all the physics through that card and we're just zooming in on the PCIe cables uh, these cables need to be plugged in the power card and just because this card has, has lots of calculations and lots of all that good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug this one in and we'll just do a uh, little test. We'll just uh, hook the the uh, computer back up and we'll just once this uh, PCIe cable is plugged in we could go ahead and just run a little test to make sure that the PC is posting. And it would just give me an indication if this card is going to be working too. So if you if you purchase a card secondhand, uh, before you go too far with it, uh, just make sure that the card is is working okay uh, in the single configuration mode. If the card's working great in single configuration mode, it should work just fantastic in SLI configuration. So there we have it. I'm going to go ahead and just start this up and just check out that this works. Alright, I have tested out the card and it's working so I, I've plugged in my my uh, original GTX 580 card and when you run SLI configuration both cards need to be the same and also uh, when I'm plugging in the SLI bridge for two cards uh, I could essentially just plug this into any of these connectors so if you plug in the bottom two you should stick to the bottom two if you plug to the top two you should just stick to the top two um, if I plugged in a third card I would have a uh, um, this motherboard doesn't really support a third card but in case you do have a motherboard that does support a third card you just drop that in and the the SLI bridge would actually run on the bottom and the top for three cards. Now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in my PCIe power connector and 
This is also when you need a, a larger power supply because you're running power to both video cards and they both consume a lot of wattage, a lot of heat. So you would also need to apply some cable management to this as well too. So just so you know, my case is a little small and a little cramped and a little tight to run two cards, but it does work. So once you start it up, you go ahead and just right click and then go to NVIDIA control panel. And then you go over to 3D settings and you can choose the setup SLI section there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and so you see that that's where the SLI section is. And I'm just going to go ahead and enable the SLI card. I'm going to hit apply and it's going to just screen is just going to blank out for a second and then it's going to restart and everything is okay again. So that is how you set up an SLI configuration. Thanks for watching and remember everything matters.